So, dearest people, we have to know, we have to know, we have to know that we can change our mind. We have to know that we're not set in stone. We have to know that we can mould our mind into any shape we like. So we do know it when it comes to learning to be a mathematician, a cook. We know that you learn the theories, you train your mind, which didn't know anything about math before. You learn, you think about it, you program your mind, you're very disciplined, you're very rigorous, you train and train, you learn it, and then you become a musician, a mathematician, a musician or whatever. So we know we can do that. But when it comes to being a happy person, we have no idea that we can train our mind to become a happy person. It sounds really mysterious to us. Why? It's because we're completely convinced that the outside world is the main cause of happiness. Very simple. And we are completely convinced the outside world is the main cause of suffering. That's like thinking the, that the piano and the piano teacher and Mr Bach are the main cause of you being a good musician. They're all part of it, but you are the main cause of being a musician because you train, you use the piano, you decide to, to, to learn the music and you change your mind, you learn the theories and you, and you practice really hard. But when it comes to being a happy person, we have no idea. It's surprising to us. So what part of our mind is causing happiness? Well, it's not complicated. It's not rocket science. You check your mind, you can see that anger, attachment and jealousy and anxiety are not the cause of happiness. But you can see that patience, humility and kindness and compassion, if you train in those, will bring you contentment, will bring you contentment, will bring you happiness. This is the fundamental point. It's not mystery. It's not mystical. It's not religious. It's practical psychology. But we have to have confidence in it. Try it out and have patience because it takes time, you know.